treehouse is pretty fun, huh? Yeah. School hall doesn't pull each other up, uh, up the rope. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to the channel. So we have a temporary little setup here for the chickens outside. You guys know we have not finished the outdoor enclosed area for the chicken coop yet. And the chickens are big enough now. They've got their big feathers that we want to let them out to get some fresh air. So Joe utilized a portion of our dog kennel pieces that we bought for the dogs. We're going to do an outdoor kennel at some point for the dogs. And we used a portion of that just to create a little yard for the chickens so they can get some fresh air, some sunshine, and get a taste of what it feels like to be outside. You leave those little birdies alone, Rusty. Rusty's over here stalking the bird feeder. Oh, he's evil. Rusty! You leave those chickadees alone. Yeah? Rusty off. Get down. That's a bad kitty. Oh, you got a snowball, huh?
You gonna get the post office box? You gonna get that post office box emptied out now you're here. Go on now. You be safe now here. Be safe? Yeah, you be safe. Oh, oh it's so bright. So you look like a porcelain doll. You're just so pretty. Uh, like um, the one on Toy Story? <laughs> The doll has got a broken eyeball. Yeah. Oh Let's my see gosh. It. Show us the doll with a broken eyeball. Yeah. <laughs> Is it both of them going? It's so bright. Both of them are probably going. Oh, Lexi, you curled your hair. I know. With the Aww. clippy one. My little baby. She's so pretty. I love you. Me too. Aww. It's so bright. You're bright like a diamond. The sky. Shine bright like a diamond. Yeah. I'm going with daddy to the post office. Okay. I'm gonna go grab my sunglasses though. Yeah. Have fun, okay? Yeah. I'll just be here holding down the fort. <laughs> Have fun. Doing school with the boys. I'm gonna test you on this, so you better be listening, you hear? <laughs> okay. What did we read about last week? Who remembers what we read about? Um, Parker, go ahead. When, was it not Nellie? Um, Fern? Fern got a Wilbur. Uh -huh. Right, Wilbur? Yeah. And she went out and she grabbed the axe from her dad. What was her dad gonna do? Kill. Kill. He's gonna kill Wilbur, right? Uh -huh, because yeah. he was a farm. Wilbur was the pig. The barn was very large. It was very old. It smelled of hay and it smelled of manure. It smelled of the perspiration of tired horses and the wonderful sweet breath of patient cows. For there was always hay in the great loft up overhead. And there was always hay being pitched down to the cows and the horses and the sheep. There's never anything to do around here, he thought. He walked slowly to his food trough and sniffed to see if anything had been overlooked at lunch. One of the boards is loose. Push on it. Push, push, push on it. And come on out. What? Said Wilbur. Say it slower. At, 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 at the risk of repeating myself, said the goose, I suggest that you come on out. It's wonderful out here. different popular breeds of pigs okay and then after we read the different breeds you guys are going to choose the breed that you like the best and you're going to try to draw a picture of that kind of pig okay okay so the first one is called a Berkshire pig
right guys, Friday school day is done. We just got done with our Charlotte's Web Science Unit. I love the little science units from Home and Haven. I will link that for you guys. It's not sponsored or anything. They just have the cutest little curriculums for holidays, Easter, Christmas, and then just random stuff throughout the year like spring bundles and really fun things. What I love about it is it is a break from the everyday curriculum that we do that's kind of like that hardcore get in it, you know, like language arts, math, those types of things. The boys love it. Just a little bit of reading. We're reading through that Charlotte's Web chapter book. Lots of fun worksheets. They get to draw and color, and it's just a little bit more of like a relaxed day on Fridays for us. That's pretty much all we do, um, and we do our Bible reading in the morning, of course, our devotions, but it's a great break for the boys to just still learn something, but take it easy. So the boys are outside playing now. It is a beautiful sunny day, again, here in Alaska, and I'm gonna get busy making some more meat stock. I shared with you guys that Joe and I are back on the keto diet, which if you're not sure what that is, it is a low carb to no carb diet. Um, not 100%, like I am still eating a little bit of potatoes and things like that, but not a lot. Um, just kind of anything that is a natural diet food, meat, vegetables, fruits, um, being careful not to eat too many of the high carb fruits and things like that because keto is low carb to no carb diet. Uh, I am doing that to try and heal my stomach. You guys know I have three ulcers that I've been struggling with for a little over a year now. I've been back on keto for about two weeks and I have been feeling really good. I have not had any stomach pain. I don't know if I can contribute it to the healthier eating, but I do know that food is life and the diet can fix so many things. I don't think people realize the power of food. So I have been drinking at least one coffee mug full of homemade meat stock every day. Meat stock is really good for you. Meat stock, bone stock, all the things. Lots of vitamins, lots of minerals, all kinds of nutrients that help heal the gut. Really good enzymes for your tummy. So not to mention it tastes good and it's soothing. It's, you know, it's just like my cup of coffee. I just like to sip on something warm. So today I'm gonna be making some homemade beef stock and I'm using oxtails for that. Once I'm done with the stock, I shred all that meat off the bones, hand it over to Joe, and he usually makes some kind of yummy, delicious concoction with it for the family. I'm just gonna be making a simple meat stock today, oxtails, uh, which is essentially the tail of the cow, right? It's got lots of joints in it, lots of marrow, all that good stuff that you wanna get into your body. I'm gonna throw in some carrots, throw in some onions, some garlic cloves, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, salt and pepper, and we're gonna just let that simmer on the stove for a good three to four hours, and then we'll strain it off, and I'll store that in the fridge. It doesn't last long because Joe drinks it too, and I've been trying to get Lexi to drink some of it too every day, but. I have been making meat stock on the regular for about a month now. Chicken stock, beef stock, you can even do fish stock, throw the whole carcass of the fish in there and then just strain it out and have fish stock if you want. I've, never, I've yet to do fish stock yet. My favorite is beef, so that's what we're gonna do today.
So I'll just let this simmer for a good three or four hours and then we'll strain it all out. Now normally, if you were gonna can this, you wanna let it sit in the refrigerator because all that fat will come to the surface and solidify and you wanna scrape that off before you can it. But I'm not canning this. We actually will eat this within a day or two. So I'm gonna leave all that fat in there because that fat is really good for you. Despite what people think your body actually needs fat, healthy fats to be healthy. Y'all don't have any in here, Dad? There's some in there. We're making some tuna salad for lunch. The boys got turkey sandwiches and apples, cause you know me, I get crazy with lunch. So creative. Tuna salad, got a little boiled egg in there, albacore tuna, mayonnaise, mustard, some onion, and we're gonna slice up some zucchinis for crackers. I also made some fermented carrots for Lexi and I. They are so good. If you like sauerkraut or any kind of fermented food, definitely try fermented carrots. I will link the recipe for you in the video description. It's really not even a recipe, it's so easy. Get a quart jar, put one tablespoon of a good salt in there, not table salt that has anti-caking agents and all that stuff in it, but a good sea salt or a good like Himalayan pink salt. So put a tablespoon of salt in there, shave your or peel your carrots slice them up pack your jar with your carrots and then pour water over the carrots until they're completely submerged leave them on the counter for about five to seven days 10 days if you like them a little bit more tangy which i do i like my fermented stuff more tangy and then put them in the fridge and then they're good for like a long time like months and months and months in your refrigerator but they're so good for you they're fermented they've got good probiotics good healthy bacteria that's also good for your gut there they are, look at that. Got three jars. So you can see the water is nice and cloudy. I also put one garlic clove in each jar. This is just a quart jar and you guys, these carrots are so good. They're salty, they're tangy. This is not made with vinegar at all. It's literally just salt and water. Nice and crunchy. You can just eat these like pickles, shave them on top of a salad. They're really, really good. I promise you. Can you hear it? Oh my God. Sorry, I have the washer going. Mmm. Now, if you've never had fermented foods, start out slow. Don't eat like a whole jar, even though you want to because they're so good. Because it might put you on the toilet for a little while. <laughs> but they're really good. I'll link it for you guys. You should really make a jar. They're delicious. Mmm, moisturize them little puppy paws, huh? So rough. He likes it. Look, thinks he's getting a massage. A little pedicure. A little puppy pedicure. Just, oh, he's falling asleep. Just cut his nose. Daddy. So we've got here Musher's Secret. It's like a good moisturizer for the puppies' pads. They get really, really messed up out here in the snow. I mean, they feel like just straight sandpaper. There's one. There, now lick your lips. Driving down the road that I grew up on once again It's when I pass your door the memories come back again Pictures of us 
us flooding back just like a wave Makes me wonder what happened, what you're up to today Remember when we stole your mother's car, we drove for days Teenagers with too many feelings and rage We were higher than the ceiling, middle fingers to the sky I remember thinking if I only could stop the time Way back when we didn't care what they said People could stare at it Rusty was on that table, yeah. and he was trying to get a bird, and he fell off the table because he jumped up to get it. It's so funny. He's gonna get one of them chickadees again, Joe. I can't wait to make their little yard. Sure. The chickens. They're gonna just love it. They need like a bigger space. Maybe I like that look with the socks. You look like a soccer player. I am a soccer player. You are most definitely not a soccer player, but you look like one. I play soccer. Does that keep your legs warm? I play combat soccer. <laughs> well, combat soccer? It's the only soccer I play. When I got my snow machine stuck back there, mm -hmm. I had to walk home. <laughs> Dummy. Is that funny? Yeah, it is funny. You're cold right now? Huh? My legs are a little cold right here, this region. You should get some thigh highs. If you were wearing thigh highs, your knees wouldn't be cold, Joe. No. Babe. Asher. So Uncle Jeff used to call me. Asher. What, Jose? Yeah. Hi. For everybody that's asking where Asher is, oh, he's right is. here. Say hi. Asher doesn't really like being outside very much. Ollie, no. What do you, Asher? No, you're kind of scared of everything. Gunner? He's just kind of more chill. He oh, likes boy. to be in the house and lay by the fire. But every once in a while, he comes out to play. So he's right yeah. here. No. Can you say hi? There's Asher, huh, yeah, there's Asher. <laughs> even though it's not gonna be dark for many more hours because it is spring in Alaska and that's how it is here. Uh, we like to put the chickens away once it starts to cool off in the evening. They're not 100% used to the outside temps yet, so they've been out here all day, literally all day, and they absolutely love it, but it's time to get them back in the chicken coop where it's nice and warm. You guys ready to go back in your house? Did you have fun? Getting the big boy first. <laughs> Are 
They sure are pretty, Joe. I love their colors. Oh, hi, Asher. Oh, you'll come out for the chickens, huh? <laughs> What'd you see? What'd you see? You see those birds? Girls and guys. My favorite one. I think she she's so pretty. No, 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 no. Okay. Calm. She doesn't like you. Calm. Calm. She'll learn to love me. me. She'll learn to love me, Joe. I have that effect on her. Anyway, as I was saying, she's my favorite because of her colors. I believe this is Kellen's favorite chicken. He named her Sugar. He said because she's so sweet. But look at that gray and the gold in her neck. Isn't she pretty? You are a pretty girl. Yeah. You sure are. Yeah. So pretty. You're all right, okay. There you go. Hey. All right, all right, all right, all right. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, you're a How we do things around here. You ain't going to start dinner? No. Mm. Well, we gotta eat, Joe. I'm gonna clear this out. We a little have bit. kids that are depending on us, Joe. I'm gonna clear that out a little bit. What? My path right there. You're gonna shovel snow? Yeah. And then you're gonna barbecue steaks? I want you barbecuing for. You're today. the barbecuer, Joe. You know how to barbecue. You're so good at it. Barbecue and broccoli? You're gonna barbecue Andy, bro? No, I'm gonna do broccoli, you do barbecue, or you do barbecue. Okay? Wow. Okay. He knows you're gonna throw a snowball at him. You leave those little birds alone, Rusty. Kiki? Rusty, the birds aren't gonna come to the bird feeder if you keep getting up there. Huh? That's no nice. Leave those little chickadees alone. Be safe with those big socks on, Joe. Yeah. It's a good look, babe. That's a new one. I like it. Yeah. Not even scrunched up, like straight all the way up to the knees. You asked me to wear my shorts. <laughs> I keep my legs warm. Oh. Gunner, Gunner, what are you doing? You're just trying to get the bird feed. That's what you're doing. Uh-huh. All right, good enough. It's a nice little walk path there. Yeah, good job, Joe. Out.
Joe's gonna come in and scavenge all the, the yummies out of it before I squeeze it. Eat some tacos tomorrow. There we go, got almost a gallon of delicious homemade beef meat stock. Super, super good for you. So I'll put this in the fridge. It'll last for about four to six days or so uh, if you didn't drink it before then, but we always use this with the next couple days. So just heat it up in a little pan on the stove. Add a little more salt and pepper if you want. It's delicious. Yeah? If you're gonna drink it. Well, what's small? Well, that's good. What happened? Huh? Well. Oh, look, your hair matches your tank top, Lex. The party. Yeah. There you go. Conserve that water. You're getting it. Off grid life. Word, word. Oh, no.
We got our shipment of dog food in. So we have officially switched the pups to a new brand of dog food, Monster. And it's a family owned business. If you guys look them up, they are a good company. The food is sourced responsibly, good ingredients. It's a little bit on the expensive side, but that's if you're comparing it to like your average grocery store dog food. So this is one of the owners of the company. I think him and his brother own the company. It's been passed down through the family and he vouched that his dog food was so good that he ate it himself for 30 days to prove that it was good. And then he did a checkup with the doctor before the experiment and a checkup after and he had actually lost weight and a lot of his levels like triglycerides and things like that actually got healthier on this dog food. It was kind of crazy. It's on YouTube, you could check it out. But here's some of the info. 30% protein, 20% fat. So this is for puppies, adults, and seniors. So you can feed this dog food to any of those ages. This is the stuff that it doesn't have in it. So it's wheat-free, corn-free, dairy-free, soy-free, no russet potatoes. And then here's some of the nutrition facts. So this one is the chicken meal with pork meal with ancient grains. We've tried a lot of the different flavors that they have. They have fish. What else they got, Joe? I, I think we just did the salmon like one last venison. time, right? Venison. I don't know. We think we tried like three different kinds. Yeah, they are super cool because they have all these different flavors you can get for your dogs. But the pups really seem to like it. As you guys know, these dogs are super active and they need a good food up here. Something that's got protein and a good source of fat for them. Regular grocery store food honestly just does not do it for these dogs. They were losing weight rapidly, especially once we got to Alaska and they were doing all the running around and playing. So we did a lot of research and the Munster dog food is the one that we came up with and uh, just recommending it to you guys. If you wanna check it out, I will link it in the video description for you. We're not sponsored by them or anything. So we don't, you know, we're not sponsored. We just love it. And uh, they do sell it on Amazon. So I will link that for you guys if you wanna check it out. Do you guys like Munster dog food? <laughs> Joe's actually moving the wood up and down. Bradley just wants him to throw it. <laughs> oh, that's all they care about, play and fetch. You want dad to throw it? Whoa. Oh, wow, okay. Oh my God. That's fun. Let's go! Yeah, man! And the Ah! He's purring. Wanna go see the sunset? Come on. Yeah. We have a really pretty view of the sunset over here in the tree line. So we'll take you guys over to see it. It's orange today. Orange. Sometimes it's red, sometimes it's purple. Lots of beautiful colors.
So now that we're done with school, they're outside playing and I'm gonna get busy on making some more meat. <sighs> it's, not a, it's not a sponsor. Just because you show something on a video doesn't mean they sponsor you. See the slide? It's not a sponsor just because you show something on a video. You know that, right? Sponsor me. Sponsor, they're pickles. <laughs> You want a pickle company to sponsor you? Yeah, want you get free pickles? 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 You could get free pickles, but why don't you just make your own pickles? Because these pickles are good. Those are pretty good. Mm -hmm. I could do some free pickles. That's good, Joe. That's good, Joe. That's good, Joe. Why do you always do that? What are, what are you doing? What? What did you just do? Nothing, I'm trying to comb my hair. No, you're not. Tuna. You're being a creeper. What? Like your lip. You have tuna on your lip. You're, yep, it's up. There you go. Stop. Stop. Gosh. All right. Are you done with this cutting board? Oh, oh, oh gosh. Ah. He sees in my Stop. eye. Stop. Oh. My gosh, Joe, I'm not joking. Bradley! I need to rock the baby. No. Come on. Come on. I'm gonna fart on your lap. You better not fart on my lap. I'll throw you. There you go. Shut up! <laughs> Hush, little baby! Don't say a word. You're gonna drop. Mama's gonna buy you a chickadee bird. Yeah. yeah. Okay, it's cold. It's okay. Here. Oh. And if that bird oh. won't sing for you, it's bright. Mama's gonna buy you a horseshoe. Stop. You look like a gangster. Now you don't. That's how the vatos used to do it in Barstow, California, eh? Where's your locs at? Where's your locs at, Jose? Oh, Babe. No, you gotta, they gotta go over the socks. What? They gotta go over, no, go over the socks like a vato. See, then you put your, yep, there you go. Now we call you Jose. Jose. Jose gonna make some tacos with no shell because we're on keto, you know what I'm saying, Holmes? I don't want people to know I know how to do dishes. I'm showing them what a real man does, Joe. A real man does dishes, Joe. See those muscles? Those muscles right there, Joe. Like, why are you mm. down so quick? Don't touch my muscle, Joe. Okay, whoa, that's definitely, <laughs> no. <laughs> we don't get that close. <laughs> Can't edit that out. <laughs> okay, I didn't want to use you. <laughs> Is that what you have, Joe, a dad bod? I need you to keep your shirt on, sir. Keep your shirt on. Joe, you are not the elf. <laughs> well, I finally got this animal in the cage.